Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mustafa Youssef from AUC. Uh, what we want to do in this record recording is to install a couple of useful libraries on the uh, version, the Ubuntu 18.04 that we installed under a virtual machine and in, in, uh, under Windows. So let's get started. Um, basically, I'm gonna, uh, this is the virtual machine that we installed in the first video. I'm gonna open a terminal. Another, another item that we wanted to do is um, uh, in installing the software Gaup, which is General Utility Labs program. It's a very useful software to perform zero Kelvin energy, energy minimization on the structures, uh, especially solids uh, using interatomic potentials. So let's get started. Uh, we will type the command. So we open the terminal here. Let me show you this one more time. We hit right click and then open terminal. And if you like terminals, I mean, you use them very frequently, then it would be better to actually pin them, um, uh, pin them to the uh, to this bar here. Um, let's uh, let me show you how we uh, are gonna do this installation. So sudo whenever you need a command that meets the uh, super user credentials or the uh, admin credentials, then you need to start it the sudo. Uh, sudo apt get update basically yeah, and it's asking me for my uh, password so basically what we are doing here we are connecting make sure that you are connected to the internet we are connecting to the standard rebels uh, online the standard ubuntu rebels that contain software so we are just making sure that the list is up to date and we have the latest uh, software uh, uh, um, connected, so, so we are connected to these repos and we have the latest software available for us from these repos. In other recordings, in future recordings, we will show you how to add extra repos uh, to install software that doesn't come with the uh, uh, standard repos that come with Ubuntu. So what is a repo? Repo is an online uh, repository where uh, many people deposit software and make it available for public use. And this actually makes the installation of software is very easy. What we want to do here is to install a couple of, uh, so, so uh, a couple of libraries. I just prepared them here. Maybe I can, uh, I cannot copy here from uh, Windows right away. So maybe I can uh, type them. So sudo, uh, now that I uh, updated the rebels, I can actually uh, sudo up to get install the following. Uh, I can install, um, let's start with G++, which is uh, C++ and T compiler. I can uh, install MBI uh, default. Uh, I can even tap here. If I hit the tab button, it can actually complete it for me. So MBI default BIN and MBI default uh, de development. The, uh, these are basically message passing interface libraries that allows parallel, that allows runs running codes on parallel, parallel processors. Uh, I need a Fourier transform, so maybe MBI. Uh, Sorry, not MBI, uh, lib, FFTW. Let's see what does it have. If I hit tab, there is uh, three, uh, three uh, development. Yeah, and that's that's the one I want. And lib, uh, FFTW, three, uh, MBI, and that as well. And I need lib jpg um, this, and maybe lib. Uh, not all of these are needed for for um, for gulp, but they will be useful in future software installation. So I can hit enter, and it's gonna check. Yeah, it's telling me that the stuff is available. So. Um, so basically, and, and it's gonna take like 42.4 megabytes. Do you want to do continue? Yes, please, I wanna continue. Mm -hmm. It's working and it's basically connecting to the rebels. 
collecting the installation files, downloading them. That's why you have to be connected to the internet. And uh, basically uh, installing them. So this is going to take some time. So while this, uh -huh, we are done now with this. So maybe another things that we can install, a couple of other useful software. Um, uh, we can install sudo apt-get uh, install. Max is a useful uh, editor. Text editor. Uh, you can use gedit, which comes automatically with Ubuntu. And Emacs is a nice one as well. So Emacs, uh, let's install what else? Uh, let's install uh, GNU-Pot, which is a plotting software. It's a very famous plotting software. It allows the scripting as well. Let's uh, install the Fortran, which is a Fortran uh, compiler, Fortran. Yeah, there are many possibilities for the Fortran, but I will go with uh, the default one. Yeah, for the Fortran. Uh, what else? Crestden. Crestden is a quite useful visualization software that we will be using with density functional theory, so it doesn't hurt to actually to install it as well. Uh, I can hit send. That's actually 235 megabytes, so that's quite something. Yeah, it's going to take some time. While this is running, let's actually open a browser here. We are opening this from Linux, from within Linux. I would search for uh, Gulp software. Uh, I can even type Curtin University. It's a software developed by Julian Gale from Curtin University, Australia. It's a free software. It's a very powerful one. That's the website. Uh, I gonna, I'm going to click. If you are registering for the first time, then you probably need to uh, like putting in some details here, and then you receive a link over email for uh, for receiving the software. Uh, for me, because I'm registered, I can click downloads and pretty much enter my email address right away and hit send. I already did this procedure, so I'm not going to repeat it again. But basically, it gives you options to install different versions. Apparently, the latest version uh, is version 6. Uh, the one that I'm familiar with is 5.2. I recommend either one of them. So it's either you go with the most recent one or uh, 5.2, both are fine. And, and here we are done with this, so which is great. I want to do some, introduce some organization here. So first, let's check what is the software that we downloaded, the Gulp thing. Uh, if you downloaded it, you should find it in the downloads folder here, Gulp 6. And it's a, it's a compressed folder. So we we'll probably not need to uh, uncompress it, which we'll do in a second. But I would recommend organizing um, our our work uh, in pretty much in a single folder. So if I hit CD, it will change the directory to my home directory. I can make sure that this is the case by typing PWD. And yes, I'm in the home directory slash home slash Mustafa. I'm going to create a, a directory. I'm going to call it software. Here we go. I can change the directory to software. Now I am in software. I can actually hit PWD and make sure that I'm here. I'm going to move Gulp compressed folder, which was the source code of Gulp. Uh, that was actually, um, and, and by the way, let me mention this. If you were given the option to download the source code or the Windows code, we need the source code. Yeah, actual Fortran files. Uh, the source code for, for Gulp. I'm going to move this from uh, downloads, uh, Gulp, and I'm going to move it here to this location. And that here is basically the stop. So if I enter now, I have the software uh, here. I can actually uncompress this folder. So R Z X V F. Uh, yeah, here we go. It's it's uncompressed. So now let's see. We have the downloaded file, and I recommend keeping these source codes. Uh, you might need them in the future, so copying them to different computers and using them. So I re recommend keeping them. Don't delete them. And and in terms of size, they aren't big. If you hit U minus the dash sh, uh, 
you see the, the source code is like eight megabytes, so it's not a big deal. Now the uncompressed folder is, is GAUB6 is actually, um, is actually uh, a slightly bigger, so it's 44 megabytes. So let's see what is inside it. Uh, we will si we find different uh, folders. For example, there is source. Source contains all the Fortran files, all GAUB Fortran files. Uh, if we go back by typing cd dash da, uh, dot, dot slash, we go back. Uh, there is a readme for file, which is uh, important. It basically explains what are the files here. Uh, it gives you instructions about installation. Um, and by the way, there are installation in theories and in parallel. So you can install Gulp in theories, which basically if your laptop has only uh, has eight cores, it's gonna use one core only. You can install it in parallel, but this is usually a, a bit trickier uh, than and if your laptop has eight cores and you dedicated eight cores to the virtual machine, then it can use all the eight cores for one simulation. Uh, other stuff that's existing here, libraries. So a bunch of useful libraries. We'll have a chance to look at them in later recordings, but that's pretty much it. Uh, what you see in the um, in the uh, GULB folder. Let's now see how we will do the installation. Okay, so for um, the installation of GULB, let's share the screen one more. Um, for the installation of GULB, we are gonna go to GULB and then source and then uh, within from within the source folder, we can actually uh, type dot slash. By the way, I'm following the instructions uh, written in the README file. That's why whenever you download the software, it's really wise to read the README file. So it says here you go to source and then you type this. Obviously, there are options that we can use, including, for example, the dash m for parallel compilation. But we aren't really going to do this. We are not going to use Gulp for heavy computations, usually one processor per simulation is absolutely fine. So what I'm gonna do is dot slash mk uh, uh, gulp. And as you see, it is basically what it's doing is going over all the files. Uh, first of all, gulp is written in Fortran. So it's using the G Fortran compiler, the free Fortran compiler that we have installed. And what it's doing is trying to go over all the files uh, to compile them uh, one after the other. So this is gonna take some time. I believe this might take actually up to um, five minutes or so. So I'll stop the recording and I will get back once it's completed. Okay, so we continue now. Uh, it seems that Gulb has been installed, compiled, I would say compiled. And if I hit, uh, uh, that's basically the end of the screen. If I hit LS, the LS Gulb in particular, there is this software Gulb. It's actually shown in green. Usually the default in Ubuntu is that green is an executable file, uh, something that can be uh, run. I, I would recommend actually moving it from the, ins the installation, which is the source folder to the um, pack folder. So if I go back now, cd dash dash pack, and I hit ls, that's basically uh, our uh, software. We will be using it in future uh, exercises. So stay tuned, thank you so much.